defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And last year, that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee. And that's at the 25. And New York set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Now Manning to Shepard, complete over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Here's Manning to throw. It's caught, Shepard. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Well, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And here comes play number six on this drive. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got us under a heavy rush, and down he goes. A first-time Pro Bowler in 2015, Sean Lee, in there to record another sack, their sixth of the afternoon. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what your hope is that you figure out and you sit under pressure and they got to him again. Demarcus Lawrence in there to drop him and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. And these numbers showing up on the screen, that's why he's their star. They kept him down for a little bit, couldn't keep him down for a full fourth quarter. But what they were hoping for was a half of a game. And if they could have shut it down at the half, they had done their job. But as you mentioned, a full four quarters, and the best, they always feel like they're one run away from changing the momentum or breaking something big. And we're starting to see that here in the second half. Holding offense. So holding by the offense and maybe now got to shift up what you want to do on the playbook. Yeah, definitely. Change what you're doing in the playbook, but boy, the advantage shifts to the guys on defense, doesn't it? Longer yardage situations, they often become bolder. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. So they get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. They'll try to run for it with Elliott. 
Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run it with Elliott. Treads the tackle, and he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And now they're in the hurry up. They run again with Morris. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give them 11 on the gain there. And it'll be first down, Cowboys. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And quickly, they get to the line. And they'll run it here. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Defense thinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Des Bryant, the intended receiver. And fourth down coming up. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. I remember in pregame when we were talking to him on the field, and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there. <laughs> and now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even for a talented offense. receiver, those are tough to hang on to. So oftentimes you see defensive holding. Here it's offensive holding for the flag. That's going to go as a loss of a full eight yards. And it sets him back for second down. They'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes where people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. He's back to throw. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. This is turning into a bit of a death march here, the 13th play of this drive. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Again, it's Elliott. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. They'll run it now out of the gun. So he got three of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So the field goal unit is on. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. And nothing but daylight ahead. He's at the 40, 20, 10. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. And that score should be the proverbial icing on the old kick.
What kind of cake? I go white cake peanut butter frosting. I like the way you think, and I think they may celebrate with exactly that cake when this game's over. I'm going down to the locker room. 